Hello everybody! Hello! We hope you're enjoying the start of half term. It's such a lovely sunny day. Yeah, I hope you're having fun today. Mr Peter, do you think it was a good idea leaving Mr Monkey at home on his own? Yes, it's fine. Don't worry. Yes, but he always creates such a mess. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, I know, but he gets things out and just leaves them all over the floor and then he'll get my papers and just toss them in the air and... I'm worried we're going to get home to an absolute tip. Mm, yeah, I was a little bit worried. I mean, look, I mean, he cut my hair. Remember that time he cut my hair? Yes, I know. He does like... Mm. Well, look, oh. I've asked Mr Monkey to send me some uh, video evidence that he's tidied up. Oh, OK. Yeah. Oh, and... well, good. Let's hope he actually does that then. Oh, hang on. I've got a message now. <gasps> Great. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Mrs. Liz, nothing to worry about. Mr. Monkey has got everything under control. Yeah, very quick though, wasn't it? Like, how was that possible that he tied up in that quick time? Well, he is Mr. Monkey. Maybe we should call him Super Monkey. Da -da -da. <laughs> oh, hang on, you got another message. Oh, is that yes, more? here we go. We've got some more evidence from Mr. Monkey. Let's have a look. <laughs> with the video effects here. Are you sure? I don't think he's tidied up at all. He just found the reverse button. Oh, the cream came off my face. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look, watch this. If we watch it back again, mm. see, that's... Do you see what he's done there? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, which means the house is still a mess. Ah, oh, so <sighs> I don't think we should be calling him Mr Monkey or Super Monkey, but maybe we should be calling him Cheeky Monkey. Mm. Tell you what though, imagine if you did have a real life reverse button. You could just undo something that you didn't want to happen. What like if I break my mother in law's best china? Yeah. Then you just press the button and it would all be fixed. Mm -hmm. Or if you cracked your screen on your phone or your iPad or something. Oh, and then you yeah. could just press the button, undo, all back perfect again. Yeah. Oh, shame. That would be amazing. Shame it doesn't exist. I mean, no one's ever been able to reverse anything bad that's happened, have they? No. Hmm. Although, though I can think of one time. What's that? I think, do you know what? I think we should watch what Father Michael's got for us today. Yes. And we can find out what happened. Come on, Father Michael. Tell us all. Roll the VG. And now it's time for a story. With Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael, Father Michael. Hey kids, I want to tell you a story. If this story had a title, it would be called Jesus is Alive. And this is about a time when Jesus' friends were sitting around in a room talking. I can't believe Jesus is dead. I saw his enemies drag him through the streets of Jerusalem, to the hill outside the city. Yeah, that's where they nailed him to that cross by his hands and his feet. And that cross, that was in a great big hole dug in the ground, so it stand up straight and left him to die. 
I helped take him down from the cross and wrap him in clean clothes. We carried him to a garden tomb outside the city. Yeah, and I was there too. I saw the soldiers roll a massive rock over the entrance. They stayed there to guard the tomb. This is the end of the second day and I'm still really frightened. Me too. Are you sure the door is locked right? At the garden tomb, it was quiet. The guards were standing around when suddenly the earth began to tremble. The soldiers were really scared. You see, an angel of the Lord came down from heaven. Before the horrified eyes of the soldiers, he went to the great stone that closed the tomb and he, he rolled it out of the way. The tomb was open. The soldiers were shaken with fear. The angel looked at them and then it was all quiet again. I don't know what we're going to do. That stone that they put there in front of that tomb, that was huge. I know. I don't know how any of all of us would be able to move that altogether. Maybe there'd be some people around who can help us. You're not going to believe this. What? The tomb is open. Open? What do you mean, open? The stone has been rolled away. Jesus, Jesus is gone. gone. Jesus, Jesus is gone. gone. Jesus is gone. gone. Suddenly, two angels appeared to the women, and this is what they said. Don't be afraid. Jesus is alive. He, he is, is risen. risen. Yes, he's risen, just like he told you he would be. He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. It's not possible. Let's go and see for ourselves. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go. Jesus is gone. Jesus is gone. Jesus is gone. The cloth he had been wrapped in is here, but Jesus is gone. The friends and the women, they go back from the tomb to where the other friends are still sitting in the room. Jesus is gone. What do you mean gone? The stone from the tomb has been moved and the tomb was empty. How could that have happened? Well, I'm really scared now. Me too. Are you sure the door is locked tight? Later that evening, right before their eyes, Jesus appeared and he said to them, why are you afraid? I really am Jesus. Look at my hands, you'll see the marks from the nails. Look at my feet, there are even more nail marks there too. Then all the friends and the women together, they shouted, Jesus, you're alive. You're alive. You're alive. Father God, thank you that nothing is impossible for you. Thank you that you sent Jesus to die for us and that he came back to life again. Thank you that we can be friends with you. Amen. Wow, that's so amazing what Jesus did for us. He has got the ultimate rewind button. Oh, I know. Isn't it incredible? Jesus came back to life and we yes. can know him now. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, that's all we've got time for today. Mm -hmm. But we hope you have a fantastic half term. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the weather. Yeah. And we'll see you again next Sunday. We'll be back at church and we'll also be back online. So have a great week. Looking forward to it. See you, everyone. Bye. We're living because you're alive.